What's up guys, thanks for checking out the video. This one's super quick. Um, a bunch of y'all have been asking me about what dry box am I using for the Mavic Pro. Um, and this is made by Plano. Let's see, there's the insignia there. The insignia there. So I'm going to be super quick. Um, there's not much to it. Basically, $20 box. You know, I picked it up at Bass Pro Shop. It's in the same section where the boating dry boxes are with the expensive pelicans. Uh, a pelican of the same size is 50 or 60 bucks. This one, like I said, 20 bucks. So it's kind of a, you know, I kind of cheaped out in that respect. But all I need is just something to keep the Mavic um, dry. And uh, I like that it's, you know, bright orange. Can't miss it in case it falls out somewhere, whatever. And it is 100% waterproof. Um, so it'll float as well too. So let's open this up. It's got three nice pressure clamp hinges and it comes all foamed out and it's already section cut and you just pull out the foam that you don't want to use to put your gear in. That way you can make a nice snug, uh, you know, snug space for whatever you're storing. Um, but the Mavic just barely fits in this um, so I measured it out at first I was really worried that it wasn't gonna fit that it was putting pressure on the motors um, top motors and I don't know if it's yeah bottom motors as well too so I was worried about that at first um, I've used it enough and measured it and eyeballed it and been around it to where yeah there's plenty of room I've got a couple you know I'm telling you about that much space between, you know, the motors and the top of the box. As you can see, those little spindles are kind of biting into, um, into the foam up there, which is plenty thick. So it's holding it snugly, securely, and it's not flipping around, flopping around in the box. But at the same time, it's not putting so much pressure on it that it's damaging the Mavic. Um... So I pulled out pretty much all the, the pre-cut foam that was in there and just kept the stuff on the outside. And if you see the footprint down here, this is the foam that was used in the box for the Mavic as a footprint um, for shipping and transportation. So I'm probably going to glue that down or maybe tape it down. That way I can move it or move it around if I adjust it if I want to. But yeah, I just pulled that out of the box, put it in the bottom of this box. That way it's got foam on all sides. Nice, snug, secure, and waterproof. Um, and that's, uh, you know, I mean, if you're kayaking with it or on a boat or, you know, outdoors, period, where there's a chance that, that it's going to rain, uh, something like this is a, is a good investment. And especially if you can find one that's a decent quality like this, but, uh, you know, fairly inexpensive in comparison to the uh, price point leaders. Um, what you want to look at though, uh, the remote does not fit in this box. So typically I'll have a separate dry bag for the remote where I'll keep, you know, the phone and wallet and keys and that sort of thing. Um, but what you're looking for in a dry box is a nice, soft, uh, seal. You know, sometimes you get some of these cheaper dry boxes and the seals like, you know, almost hard plasticky or falling out. Um, I would stay away from those because over time the seal is going to break and it's also going to like fall out and pinch itself and then it's going to split. It's not going to be waterproof anymore. Um, but this one's, I mean, it's a good seal. I mean, it's in there. It's not coming out. It's got some spongy rubbery feel to it and it's a continuous lock all the way around. And it's even got a pressure valve on the front might be able to hear it when I close it. Nope, can't hear it. But it's waterproof, it's a good box, and it's a cheap box. So that's what I'm using for the Mavic. Hope this helps out, guys. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Take care.